Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for quite some time, but I'm back now, ready to rock and roll. Today I wanted to make a video on 2024 habits that we are keeping for this year that have absolutely changed and revolutionized my life. I know it's kind of late to do a 2024 video, but I figured as soon as it's still January, we can still do this. I'm super excited to be back. I've missed you guys and let's do this. First of all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified when I post a new video. Let me know where you guys are from. I always love hearing from you guys and let's get into the video. So 24, 2024 habits, I'm a little out of practice, okay? 2024 habits that have completely changed my life. This is for living a softer and slow life. Why am I saying that? Because these days we are so bombarded. We are overstimulated. Like you can't go on social media anymore without being bombarded with like videos, ads popping up everywhere. And it's actually not good for a nervous system. Um, I do a lot of dopamine detox. Sometimes I do days. Actually yesterday I had a full day of not being on my phone at all. And it was the best thing ever. Your brain will feel like it's got a, like it's been cleaned from the inside out when you do a dopamine detox. So I guess that's number one, doing dopamine detoxes. What does that mean? It means not consuming anything that will give you these dopamine hits, uh, trying not to be on social media, limiting your time that you, like anything that gives you these quick dopamine hits, try to not do that for one day and see how clear and focused you will feel the next day. Especially if you struggle with ADHD, this will massively help you. Next thing is moving your body every single day. Think of your body like a pond. We are made of 70%, if not more, water. If you are like a pond and your water is stagnant and you're not moving, it's no bueno, okay? You want to be moving your body, you want to get the energy flowing. So even if it's just stretching, um, you don't have to lift weights every single day, but just stretching, going for a walk um, will help with your mental health. The next one is talking to God or having some type of spiritual practice every single, mor every single morning. When I do this, the way my day is set up later completely like when i do this versus when i don't do this it's a night and day difference um so you want to make sure you have some type of spiritual practice in the morning you connect to the quantum field you connect to the now moment and the present moment and just being in that energy of being in the now tapping into the quantum field, kind of tuning out of the busy world will help you stay so grounded during your day. Um, I love doing this in the morning and evening. Like, I, I don't know how people live their lives without meditating in the morning. <laughs> I have no idea because I am complete, like I'm completely ungrounded if I don't do that. The next one is doing what feels good for your soul in the now moment, even if it doesn't make sense to the logical mind. We're so conditioned by society that we have to live a certain way, right? Um, there are so many things that are ingrained in our society when really, when you live by what your soul wants in the now moment, your life will completely change. Trying to force yourself into situations, into molds that you no longer fit in is ultimately not healthy for you. And I'm going to say something that's a little far-fetched here, so take it or leave it, but a lot of people that have been people pleasers their entire lives and that have always put other people in front of them to the point where they themselves like they don't take care of, of themselves um, and they're self-sacrificing and th this martyr programming right a lot of those people end up with the c word the c-a-n-c-e-r uh, i'm gonna be very careful what i'm saying because i talked about c-a-n-c-e-r on instagram the other day and i got shadow banned I got shadow banned, so we have to be very careful what we say, how we say it, um, especially like, anyway, 
I'm not gonna get into this. That's a whole other topic. So um, do what feels right for you. Go with your gut. Next one is listen to your gut. You have an innate intuition, gut feeling. A gut feeling is always right. Think about it. Whenever you had an intuition about something in your life and you've gone against that, you've gone with your rational mind of what you should be doing, it backfired. It wasn't the right solution. So trust yourself more. Know that your body has an innate ability to know what's good and what's not good for you. Especially for if you're a generator, 70% of the human population are a generator. I'm a generator. I have an innate ability to say yes or no to things. If it's not good for me, it will feel like an uh uh in my body. If it's good for me, it will feel like a yes. And that's how I know what's good for me and what isn't good. I don't have to rationalize. I don't have to tell myself, yeah, but I should. Um, we're not doing shoulds here anymore. We, You have to follow your bliss. Follow what feels right for you and the rest will always fall into place. I know that sounds cliche, but that's the truth. Next one is uniquely for the ladies, cycle syncing. Cycle syncing has completely changed my life and it's something that is here to stay in 2024. I started taking cycle syncing really seriously last year and it's completely changed the way I do my business. Did you hear my stomach just growl? I'm hungry. It's completely changed the way I do business in the sense where we're taught as women to work like men because this system was set up by men for men. Men have 24 hour hormonal cycles, right? They're, they, they can go the same every single day. Women, we function a lot differently. We're essentially four different people in 28 days. Um, this is our cycle. We have our winter season is when, when we're on our moon. We have our spring season is when we're getting into the, it's called the follicular phase. I always get these messed up. It's, it's the spring season uh, right before you ovulate. Then we have summer when you ovulate. Then we have fall right before your period. And then again, we have winter on your period. So your energy levels are going to fluctuate largely during one month, right? Women are so powerful because we are the link from the spiritual to the physical world. We can literally bring the unmanifest to the manifest. We create, we create babies. I'm quoting uh, the account Bloom Womb on Instagram. Women are the original timekeepers. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days, which, which is the length of a month of a moon cycle. Women have 13 cycles in a year, just like there are 13 moon cycles in a year. 365 days can be split in 13 cycles of 28 days. We have an internal clock that syncs with the earth. Don't let a fake calendar that has 12 months with irregular lengths take you away from your instinctual need to live with the earth, with the earth's cycle. That's hard to pronounce. Um, so anyway, she talks more about how, like how we, how to connect with the earth cycles. Like for example, we're still in January. People are pushing, pushing, pushing when naturally your body just still wants to rest until spring. That's an example. Um, but cycle thinking in my business, um, it's changed everything. If you want me to get more into cycle thinking, I can absolutely do that. Next thing that we're keeping for 2024 is close out energy leaks. This means toxic people, relationships that don't serve your highest good, clutter, unfinished business, unfinished projects, or holding on to grudges. All of those things are leaking your vital life force energy. Have you ever noticed that when you end a toxic relationship in your life, this doesn't have to be romantic, this could just be anyone that you feel is really draining your energy, they're either always complaining or they're just always accusing you, always playing the victim, you know those types of people. When you really cut them out of your life, you feel lighter, you feel better. Those people can be energy leaks. Clutter in your home can be energy leaks, so really clean up your space energetically, make room for the new. If you have to delete photos 
uh, on your phone, do that, conversations, anything that's kind of like old and stucky, yucky energy, get it away from your life and see how much better and clearer and cleaner you will feel. My next and last one ties into manifestation is playing in the field of possibility rather than predictability. What the heck does that mean? So we're taught to play in the field of what's predictable, right? But when it comes to manifestation, a lot of the ways in which your manifestation will come into fruition is completely unpredictable. And when we, and the truth of the matter is that we live in a quantum world where anything literally is possible. If you tap into the field of infinite potentialities, you can tap into any reality at any time. So you want to connect regularly to the quantum field and kind of be in that childlike energy, right? Like Jesus said, be like children. That doesn't mean be childish. There's a difference between being childish and being childlike. Having that hope, having that enthusiasm, having that what if, like what else could be possible? Like how good can this get? Just tickle the quantum field with that energy, plant those seeds, right? You don't have to think about this every single day, but just tickle the quantum field with that. This is how you get those huge quantum leaps and these amazing manifestations where you barely lifted a finger and they're just gonna come into your life, I can promise you. It sounds too good to be true, but it takes, actually it takes courage and bravery to tickle the quantum field in potentiality because most people will say that's not possible. Most people won't even dare to go there. But when you go there, I can tell you the universe will move mountains for you. An example of tickling the quantum field was before I lived on the French Riviera, I like two years before I visited the French Riviera with my then boyfriend and we were just driving through the French Riviera and I was like, I want to live here. I want to live here one day. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. And I just, I just wasn't this complete awe of how beautiful and pretty it looked here and and that was it i did not try to make anything happen because when we step in we make it predictable because we only know what's known and what's predictable when we get out of the way and when we plant a seed in the quantum field and we leave it alone what happens when you plant seeds in the earth and you leave them alone they grow into a plant so what happened Two years later, I ended up living on the French Riviera without me lifting a finger. All of this ha just happened. Like life, you know how life happens to you sometimes or happens for you? This is what happened. I didn't wake up one day and was like, I think I'm gonna go live on the French Riviera. It was not like that. Um, there were things that happened in my third dimensional world that led me to coming here, but it was all but it all kind of just happened and that's what I mean by playing in the field of potentiality. I tickled the field once, just once, and I left it alone. Those are our 2024 habits that are here to stay. Also, if you want me to go deeper into manifestation, nervous system regulation, femininity, our exclusive community, Limitless, I will link it down below. We just opened a brand new Telegram group chat for, it's called Divine Downloads for our Limitless members and it's amazing. The energy in there is off the charts. So if you want to join and be part of the Limitless lifestyle, link to that is down below. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.